And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. When Moses was said to be the meekest man uh, on this earth, and why was a meek person is a humble person, and that's how Moses received God's grace, because he was humble. It's because God resists the proud, and he gives more grace to the humble. So here he says, he has found grace in his sight, and he knew, knew thee by name. Amen. See, we also saw that Moses did not do anything. He didn't want to do anything without the presence of the Lord. If you read the verse we just heard, he said, if you are not going with me, I'm not going. I mean, people are going to places in the name of the Lord. God didn't send them. Amen. Then when they are crashing, they are chaos, then they start blaming God. Also, if you don't go with me, I'll stay put. Because <laughs> without you, I can be and do nothing. That's a humble man. Proud people. They don't want to be instructed. They want to do their own thing. They are self will. They are pushy. They are grabbers. See? This is all the work of the flesh. What the great is there to help them. But they are not. Because they will not submit to the authority, to the instruction of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Once you understand grace, you are free in the presence of the Lord. You also you become sensitive. See, people in prayer are not sensitive. They are only sensitive to the flesh, not to the Holy Spirit. That's why when they come, most of them when they come here, they say, well, they also want to do things without the leading of the Lord. They say, hold on, let me call you. They get upset because that's pride. They don't want to be told anything. <laughs> And they want to adjust the service and call the spirit and they do their praise to let you go. Because they don't have the grace, they have come, come with religion. They came from a church anyway, but the church they used to attend is only in them. That's why they brought that's why they brought all those fleshly things, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But it's not accepted yet. We stop it. No work. Thank you, Jesus. See? They turn the preacher from the from the pulpit. <laughs> See, they understand grace because they don't respect the sanctuary. Say sanctuary. sanctuary. Say that shall respect my sanctuary. That's how it says. Let me take it chapter 26 verse 2. Amen. See? You respect the presence of God. Hallelujah. Where well, there's no respect. Flesh has no respect for anything. Flesh is self-seeking. You see? But well, the grace of God. Hallelujah. Is always what? Yield. It's a yield. Yield. You see? When you have grace of God, you have the spirit of peace around you. Amen. Grace and peace. Grace and truth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And also, we um, were talking about Hannah, who was another person that received the grace of God. Hannah is in the chapter 1 of the first book of Samuel. First book of Samuel, chapter 1, verse 18. First book of Samuel, chapter 1, verse 18. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. Praise God. Um, in that, we're going to see how the Lord praise the living God. How, when people are in grace, they speak comfortably. Say comfortably. Comfortably. See, let's read uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 22. When thou heart is full of grace, you, your word will be gracious. Say gracious. Okay. Even though you are, even though when it's a rebuke, it's a gracious word. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yes. Because Lord corrects. Luke chapter 4, verse 22. And all bear him witness, and wondered that the gracious words was proceeded out of his mouth. And See? they said, Is not this Joseph's son? See, they're talking about Jesus. All oh, one of the gracious words that proceeded out of his mouth. <coughs> and Psalm 45, verse 2, hallelujah, tells us, Grace is poured into our lips, and grace is a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 45, verse 2. Psalm 45, verse 2 reads, Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God has blessed thee forever. See? You are blessed forever. Grace is poured your lips. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. The word of grace, hallelujah, is truth. And truth is correction. Yes, thank you, Lord. See? Truth is love. Thank you, Jesus. Truth is that time and truth is what? Rebuke too. Some people so many around to hear that. Just leave me alone and do my own thing. Yes, to bless me. It's a joke. It won't happen. So you, that's how you forfeit God's grace. Oh, yeah. So you uh, slip back into sin. Sin. So if repentance allows you to get back on track and receive the grace when you repent for those things. And you have to destroy the bad sin you, you sow when you are disobedient. Amen. Oh, yes. If you don't, you may repeat your children if you don't destroy the seed. Yes. Oh, yes. 
Galatians 6 says, or a man's soul that shall reap is the word of the Lord. So when you repent, destroy the bad seed. Amen? 